the pole? Yeah, no. yeah. Oh! So it's like they take uh, longanisa, right? And then they, I guess they chop it up and break it down so it's not, it doesn't look like a sausage. And they make it into a patty, and then they put the panko around it, and then just fry it. Yeah! Yeah, it was crazy, dude. Alright everybody, welcome to Hot Couch Potato, the podcast where we talk about video games and good food. My name is Brian, a.k.a. Boo Up. I'm here with my man, Rick, a.k.a. A New Perfect Day. What's going on, man? A lot of things are going through my mind right now. <laughs> but one of them is, what happens if we changed our username? And on where? Be like, you know how you introduced me as the New Perfect Day? And oh, I dude. And I said, like, oh, uh, my, my new name now is like Sunflower Droplet or something like that. Oh, dude, I, I would change it up, man. I mean, <laughs> when we started this, you had five different usernames anyways, dude. Chaotic Cold. Oh, no, you weren't Chaotic Cold. Cold Overkill. I was like Shatter Sky. Shatter Sky. Kill, Mobius One, dude. Cold yeah. Cloudy yeah. Day. Mobius One. Shy tank, I was like 88, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about that, but remember, it was like, if you spell it closely, it's going to be shit. <laughs> shit tank. Shit tank. Shit tanky. But, um, yeah, uh, I was just going to say it, too. So I went to my, uh, my, my sister's house, and we celebrated my birthday early, you mm-hmm, know, mm-hmm. month of June and all that, but... Before I was leaving, remember how I was like telling you, I texted you, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to be home in like 30 30 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So right when I was getting ready to leave, my my sister brought up, he's like, oh yeah, my nephews want to go to Japan. I stopped, turned around, sat back down on the couch, and I was like, what do you mean? (laughs) And then then she's like, yeah, you know, my nephews, uh, the nephews want to go to Japan next year, sometime next year. And I was like, okay, that sounds cool, you know, like, why don't we all go? And then at first she was like, nah, you know, it'll be like a guy's trip. And I was like, wait, Mm -hmm, hold up. mm -hmm, This mm -hmm. is a trip that could be for everybody kind of thing, you Mm -hmm. know, like. They have this, they have that. My family would be interested. The crime is like almost 0%. Mm-hmm, Trash mm-hmm. nowhere. And then my cousin chips in. She's like, yeah, you know, uh, her coworker was saying like, this is, uh, Japan is one of the best uh, things that she ever, they ever did. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay, explain. And she's like, yeah, they're, they're raving about how uh, Disneyland in Tokyo is completely like, a place of magic and i was like okay you sold me you sold me so like i chipped in my two cents i said okay well food over there was like roughly maybe three to eight dollars or you know depends on the meal, meal yeah whatever. and i told them i was like i was like a car used car salesman man i was like oh yeah the food is super cheap all you need is roughly <laughs> below 150 dollars for like a couple days for like food expenses whatnot you know you really don't have to spend nothing over there you uh-huh. the train tickets are super cheap you, you just hop on the train and hop off and then boom you're in the next area you don't even have to stray too far from the train you can just explore that little whole metro area mm-hmm I was just selling them up the butt, and then my sister was like, yeah, but, you know, like, I don't know, like, do they, like, accept fat people? And I was like, <laughs> um, <laughs> she's like, I'm going to be the only fat girl there. I was like, <laughs> well, um, no, you're not, like, <laughs> no, and then I was like, like, I, you know, I was, like, diving into the other stuff that's going to be there. I was like, yeah, but the, still, they have, like, the, the cherry blossoms, the the, the giant uh, temples that you want to see. Uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. she's like, yeah, I do want to get blessed by a monk. I was like, yeah, see? And then she's like, oh, but I do love scary. And I was like, hold it. Wait, 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 wait one wait, wait, second what? right there. Wait one second right there. And then she's like, yeah, what does Japan have to offer that's scary? And I was like... Well, there's the suicide force. That's exactly that, what I was thinking. Um, you know, that I was like saying. And there's that island, um, that ghost town island, you know. And then she was like diving more into it and like pulling up pictures, images. And she's like, oh, yeah, that'd be great if we can go and visit there. I was like, uh, well, we're not going to go to Japan. Never mind. So is this going to be a guy's like... trip? Uh, we'll just get a guy's trip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, she she did the calculations and you know she pulled up 
it was going to be kind of pricey because uh-huh. she wanted to be comfortable all over there. Sure, sure. And I was like, yeah, that's uh, yeah, fine. Whatever it takes to get the whole family to go because this is a family trip kind of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then she pulled up like an Airbnb, found superb looking mansions. You know, like remember those um, – I don't know if you've seen it in the anime, but where they have the sliding doors opening oh, to the Zen garden, things dude, like that. That's exactly she where found, I want to stay one day, bro. Dude, she found something like that. Uh-huh. And the inside is kind of like a Hilton hotel, like super furnished, modern. Yeah. really modern. But then when you open those, those, those doors, you're out into a Zen garden and you can just sit down on that little porch thing. Uh-huh. And I was like, Wow. And it was pricey, but I was like, sure, you know, like it's near the heart of everything. Mm-hmm. It's in walking distance of the trains and whatnot. And so, yeah, she's really excited because at first she was she wasn't. She was like, eh, you know, just let my her sons go. And I was mm-hmm. like, well, if you tag along, your mind will be blown, you know, going there because I want to go to Disneyland over there. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. pretty magical from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. Would so, you go to the 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 sea theme one too, the Disney Sea Land or something? Uh, I think I know what you're talking about, and yes, I would definitely go there because they want to see everything. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, we're trying to plan the trip now. I guess we're in the, the initial proposal stage of planning, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. she already like proposed two weeks. I was like, damn, okay, dude, okay. that is a trip. Yep, I was like, okay, okay, you know, like if it's gonna be two weeks, I got, I got to, we got to check the finances, <laughs> calculated everything. Um, it's roughly gonna be, yeah, yeah, it was kind of up there, but uh-huh. it was still like she calculated everything. I was like, okay, this is how much we have to save if we plan on, you know, being there for two weeks. Mm-hmm, we don't necessarily mm-hmm. have to stay there for a little two weeks, but still, like, you know. Everything was reachable, doable. And I was like, I was starting to get that rekindled fire in me. I was like, damn, dude, I miss Japan. <laughs> so, dude, I miss Japan every time I look at my phone. My background is still the, the giant ass unicorn Gundam. Uh, oh, from yeah. From Diver yeah, City, yeah. that mall yeah. over there, man. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I was like saying, we. I think we we're gonna try to go what twenty twenty two is what the, everyone's proposing to go as friends. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm down to go with friends, you know. Like that way we can get faded in middle of Tokyo and no mm-hmm. one's gonna care. And yeah, and now I know how to drink sake properly. You don't <laughs> down it <laughs> like Just sip it. <laughs> you were supposed to be sipping that shit, and no wonder I was drunk till the next day. <laughs> After drinking all that, yeah, because we we down the whole bottle. I was like, oh, I don't feel nothing, nothing. But we were drunk. We were wandering drunk around uh, Sunshine Ikebukuro, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. woke up. I was still drunk. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Dude, that's the funniest part. Is like uh, Scott and I have been watching the the first season of Terrace House. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know if I just am noticing this now, and I didn't notice it before, but all the places that those people go, um, like restaurants or where they work or everything like that, everywhere the cast members go, I recognize all of them because of the train stops, dude. <laughs> like, I don't think I recognize what it looks like because everything kind of looks the same except for maybe yeah. Shibuya and Rapongi. But and, um, what's the other area? Where Harajuku and shit is at? Is it called Harajuku? Uh, yeah, Harajuku. Yeah. Um, so those places are sh- distinguishable, but everything yeah. else kind of looks the same. The only reason I know where they're at is because, or I think I've been where they're at, is because I recognize all the names of the train stations, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot the names, but, like, it was pretty noticeable. Once you get it locked down and you're used to going on that same train every day, mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. like, Yeah. It's not miss- missable. Yeah, man. Dude, I miss it so much too, bro. That's going to be fun, man. Is, is there going to be their first times, period? Like even your sisters? Uh, Yeah. So everybody oh, there shit. except for my dad. I'm not sure if my other nephew's going, but um, mm-hmm. yeah. It's, it's my my other nephews. 
mm-hmm. uh, Patrick and Aiden. So yeah, they're they're down to explore, and I. She, <laughs> it's funny because my sister asked. She's like, "Okay, I know what I want to do. You know, explore the haunted areas. What do you guys want to do?" And she looked at my nephews, and then they're like, "Anime." <laughs> and I was like, "Wait a minute! There's everything else but anime. You know, we can do other things. Like we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, go on a boat. We can check out this. We can go here." And they're like, "No, we just want to stay in Akihabara." I was like, "Oh, oh my god, dude! You can only spend so much time there." Well, no, I guess if they are really, really into anime, they'll 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 get it the most out of it, dude. Probably. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I was like, well. You know, when I get them there, we'll probably be doing a lot of walking. We're going to go to hit up all the Pokemon centers. I think mm-hmm. there's two. Um, but and then check out the, the one in Diver City, the Gundam, mm-hmm. Gundam area. And mm-hmm. yeah, I just want to revisit all those areas again, you know, especially Dude. with family. And then. You know, if we ever decide to go on 2022, shit, dude, we're going to get faded and be everywhere. <laughs> I know, man. I can't wait to go back. I can't wait till all this corona stuff is over. Yeah. We could just, like, do normal shit, man. I'm tired of, like, seeing the same places over and over again. It's been too long. If I'm thinking about it, last year I went, I think I visited, like, five different countries, dude. This year I've just stayed. We're halfway into the year, basically. We're over halfway into the year, basically. And um, I've only been to one country. And it's America, yeah. dude. <laughs> I'm way behind. <laughs> I'm way behind, bros. I'm way fucking behind. You can uh, visit uh, some other states and uh, Shit. pretend it's a different country. <laughs> Shit. I, I, speaking of you know, the end of Corona, I had a little taste of it uh, this weekend. I went up to L.A. for a friend's birthday um, just to kind of hang out for the weekend and chill. Um, and dude, I went to some food trucks. There was mad people outside in line for this food truck. I went to this, um, like wine bar where they serve chocolate as well. Someone was DJing and there were people outside just hanging out. People just enjoying wine on the street in Long Beach, dude. Like it really seems like this whole thing is over, dude. You know, people are just hanging out as usual as if Corona wasn't even around, man. And it felt normal for a little bit, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I just can't wait for it to get back to normal. But what I am know in my heart of hearts is going to happen is there's going to be a second wave coming. No oh, doubt, yeah. man. No doubt. No doubt. Especially with, uh, you know, everyone rushing to get back to the scene. And, like, I can understand if they want to, but at least wear the mask. You know, like, I was, like, watching those mm-hmm, videos mm-hmm. and they said that. In order to 95% block out Corona, it's for everybody to wear literally a mask and stay six feet apart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, you know, we're here in America, so (laughs) that does not fly. (laughs) Dude, America doesn't give a fuck, man. Yeah. Just do not care, dude. (laughs) Yeah. When people are talking to me, they're literally trying to whisper in my ear. I'm like, dude, hold the phone. (laughs) Like... <laughs> oh, stand, let me stand back. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I don't know. I mean, what if that's going to be our life from now on is we have four months in quarantine where we have to stay home where the virus isn't out there so much. And then for two months, the virus uh, or the virus is dormant so we can all go outside. And then all of a sudden there's another spurt. So we have to stay inside for four months. You know, it's like on and off seasons. Like, oh, Corona's high. Oh, Corona's low. Let's go outside. Like, what if that's our life moving forward, dude? Damn. I think we're going to probably most likely adapt. But we're going to have, like, almost completely revamp the way businesses, the way our economy is, you know. Like, we're going to be probably doing a lot of wireless transactions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, no one's going to ever have cash anymore kind of thing. That Everyone's going to have that 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 card that uh, i think china has that where you use that card to literally pay for everything mm-hmm. they're probably going to have something like that um i think just our habits are going to completely change you know like we'll still have gatherings but there might be like an arm's length we won't or maybe our handshakes will change like you know <laughs> we'll shake hands with our dicks or something <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 
<laughs> that sounds like you can catch Corona way easier that way, dude. I saw the like a TikTok video uh -huh. of a guy. And he had a best friend, and they had like a tattoo, and instead of them shaking hands, it was their dicks. <laughs> Wait, because like, of the oh tattoo? What? God. What? I don't, I don't get it, mind's, dude. My mind's racing 100 miles an hour. It's <laughs> this root beer that I have right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, I think it's going to be crazy. I think the world's changed already, man. I think the world has changed already with the way people are working and moving out here. It's going to be the new normal, which is going to be fucking wild, man. Like, you know how shit was before like 9-11, I feel like the world was a little bit more carefree. Then 9-11 happened and shit got a little bit more strict. Mm -hmm. um, especially, you know, like airports. You can't w go with someone to their gate before they leave. You know, you have to wait outside TSA and shit. Yeah. Um, now with Corona, it's going to be the new normal where it's just staying six feet apart and shit, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be wild. Yeah. But I feel like it's we're like on the cusp of being normal. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yep. But everyone is like completely ignoring, you know, the six feet rule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, kind of wear a mask. And if you're sick, definitely wear a mask. But mm -hmm. people don't care. And they're like, no, it blocks my breathing. I got to get a haircut. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, oh, man. We're just undoing literally all the work. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, at least. If the world does go to shit, we still have our video games, man. And we know we're set at least for the immediate future because of the next gen stuff that's coming out. Um I think it was either Scott or Danny or something. They posted a a memory on Facebook uh from when we went to E three. Mm -hmm. And it just reminded me, I'm like, damn dude, all those conventions that we're not gonna be able to go to ever again in the near future because of corona, man. Um, in fact, we just found out this week that PAX is going to be online. Um, yep. No Seattle trip for us this year, man. R. Yeah. R. Side story to that, that pack or the E3 picture. I was like, I saw that too. And I was mm -hmm. like, damn, we were smart back then. We were wearing masks. We had masks. <laughs> <laughs> about that until now uh. <laughs> see because that's the thing it's almost always guaranteed that you're gonna get like sick or get a cough at a convention or something right yeah so now in the time of corona it's even worse bro so dude yeah, yeah. And ahead then of the people game. yeah we're pioneers that's what i was saying uh, but fun. yeah pa i mean packs being online i'm like that's you know i guess that's another way to really attend the convention so they can make back money kind of thing, stay afloat. Mm -hmm. um, and while at the same time spreading out the games and mm -hmm. in the media, media and the culture, but I miss personally miss is the anticipation of going there. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we get there, we check in to the hotel, we're excited, we're pumped. Uh, we wait in line. It's just those kind of small moments. And especially, mm -hmm. When we get inside, um, you know, it's just a lot of stimulus in your brain. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of mm -hmm. lights everywhere. There's this, there's that. Um, and then the ability to explore. So it's like, you, for me, it feels like I'm an adventure. You know, mm -hmm. like, where do you want to go next? Let's go here. Let's go there. And, you know, we discover these games. That's that's what I really loved is just discovering these indie games. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, farm simulator. Remember like that one that you were just playing? Uh, I think it was like, you're like uh, a cartoon or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you're in a kitchen and then you were drunk and you were hitting your wife or something. Do you remember that? <laughs> I do not remember that. What? <laughs> Maybe I remember that completely different. <laughs> It sounds like a crazy <laughs> game, though. But it was just funny to, you know, like, we found such a weird-ass game. game. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah you, you know, like, th those are the moments I enjoy. It was just yeah, the bro times, the, the fun, the exploring. And then now it's going to be online. It's going to be, what, navigating another website kind of mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. um, but what would be... 
uh, somewhat interesting if if they had a VR version of it. You know, like you oh, yeah. walking the halls. You have fake people around, like walking around. <laughs> <laughs> it's like VR chat, but you're at PAX, dude. You're like exactly. In the center. That'd dude, be kind of funny. that would be crazy though. Like if you did have P, uh, you know, users, they log in and then mm-hmm. you see them walking around playing the game. Yeah, that would be cool. That would mm-hmm. be interesting. What about? Yeah, you know, I think I'm right there along with you. I'm definitely gonna miss like all I think you hit it the nail on the head, the just the sensory overload of mm-hmm. seeing and hearing everything. Because mm-hmm. um, I think what they're gonna do is, yeah, they're gonna have a stream or something about uh, just all the developers and what they're showing, what games they have. And then I think, I think they're gonna have the demos available on Steam so you could just download it and play it, you know, on your own. But that's not the same, you know, like one of the fun times I think we played a game where we were divers or something like that and we had to go dive oh that was fun lake and get gold from a chest and bring it back up to our bank on this island and we had to watch out for fish we could attack each other to steal gold from each other and all that yep like that was fun i think because we were playing against each other and there was like some other random just guy hanging out playing with us too you know but we were all totally into it just fucking each other over in that game right yep exactly you can't recreate that atmosphere online yeah yeah just, yeah that's no what i mean like that. just that's the memories it's just yeah. exploring these games together kind of thing and finding them playing it together i really love that you know and then when we're exhausted we're like okay i know we're done with the convention it's mm-hmm. like five o'clock let's get something to eat and then let's go check out the the card shop you know yeah yeah and then we can go back to haunted airbnb and play switch all day you know (laughs) exactly so many activities dude yeah 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 and we can discuss it together too you know Mm -hmm. but now we just like kind of solo or by ourselves and you know it's just to me it might be just browsing another website just looking at these six these things but yeah it's not man i just thought it just hit me too like last year at pax was the first time I played Final Fantasy VII Remake, dude. When I woke up oh, super yeah. early and just fucking rolled through and waited in line for three hours, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. And you forgot your, your bag and everything. <laughs> yeah, man. You guys have to bring it for me and all that shit. That's crazy, man. That was a good time. Yeah, um, yeah. But, yeah, it's since this is the man. time of E3 and since pretty much E3 is canceled with everybody pulling out and doing their own thing and – the actual physical convention, you know, not being able to happen because of COVID. Uh, there's just a lot of, how would you describe them? Like recorded video events. I think they record them beforehand and then just premiere them live to everybody. You know, so this past week there was some Gorilla Games, the PC game show. There was a Pokemon Direct. EA had something too. So it was mad announcements this week. Um, I'm going to go over some highlights, at least that interest Rick and I. Uh, the first big one, I think, was the Pokemon Direct that Nintendo put out, man. Mm-hmm. Um, Nintendo's taking over the world, bro. Or Pokemon is taking over the world again. Yeah, yeah. Again. They they definitely rekindled that, that Pokemon catching phase because I was discouraged, um, you know, like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I have no Pokestop, so I can't mm-hmm. play Pokemon Go. It sucks. Uh, and then we're quarantined, mm-hmm. but they really like, you know, try to cater to the people who are at home. They give you a lot of incense, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know. And then with the release of all these Pokemon news, mm-hmm. you know, it's just, bam! They just another sensory overload kind yeah. of thing. And yeah, and now I'm like hooked and back in it and i'm like trying to do all these things i'm literally considering going out and trying to do more raids <laughs> <laughs> i think what's cool is that it's all connecting now right with pokemon home i don't think yeah. it's all fully connected yet but i'm telling you man once they connect uh go and home and sword and shield directly i'm back in there dude i'm gonna be back in oh there yeah transferring fucking everything bro um yeah but yeah this week was huge for pokemon not just because of the announcements but uh, the expansion got released. 
Now, this is confusing to me, man. Did both the Sword and Shield expansions get launched at the same time? Or did Sword get launched first and then Shield like a day later? Uh, I think what I think I'm I'm not I really didn't do any research and this is just guessing mm. but I think they from from last year or from the when they announced it they said that we're both both expansions are getting the same content oh okay um so what they released from what I've seen is the Isle of Armor mm-hmm. um which is I guess my version, the shield's version, but still, it's the same content the sword is getting. It's getting, oh. Uh, yeah, okay, so okay, okay. they're seeing exactly what we're seeing, and we're all starting off in the the islands. Mm-hmm. Um, just probably different uh, NPCs, but other okay, than that, it's okay. it should be all the same content. And mm-hmm. then later they'll release the other one which is the one where we're exploring that winter area mm-hmm. area mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that will be for the both of us again both of the sword and shield okay okay that makes sense then because yeah that'd be crazy if the two expansions came out for each version and they were completely different that's mm-hmm. just niantic going overtime dude or the whoever makes pokemon just going overtime um yeah, expansion for that. So that's huge already. People got Pokemon on the brain. Then they got the Weedle event in Pokemon Go going down. Uh, I think that was yesterday. Did you catch a, a shiny? No. I caught uh, 40 freaking Weedles. What? Not a single shiny. And I was like, okay, I gave up. You know, Dude, I think um, I tapped maybe 10 or so. Not too much. And I found one shiny. I was like, all right, that's it. I'm done for the day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> damn it yeah see what my luck is shit you know <laughs> like why 40 that's crazy man yeah i deleted uh 40 and then i had to delete more pokemon because it's running out of room damn. and then i i just couldn't get it and i, I think my mistake was i should have popped the incense and oh, then yeah. used my pokemon um my Pokemon, my Pokeball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To catch them and automatically. Just, yeah, just yeah. click that nonstop kind of thing. But uh, I didn't think of that. And I was like literally manually catching these things and <laughs> still nothing. And then I just gave up. I was like, oh, I don't care anymore. But still, like I've been playing a lot of the, the expansion. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at least that made up for it. Yeah. And are the raids so they've added a bunch of new pokemon to sword and shield 2 right like they got the original 151 at least the starters they got gigantamax versions of those guys now um i think it's still limited Mm -hmm. uh to from the from the first 151 Mm -hmm. and they did yeah they did bring gigantiforms um for like at least venusaur and Mm -hmm. blastoise from what i've saw I caught Blastoise, which is awesome, mm-hmm. but I still need to catch Venusaur. But the thing is, I don't really remember what is part of the expansion and what is not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, the Pokemon is a blur to me. They blend in. If I don't have it, I don't have it. So I don't know if they're new or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, so I'm catching everything. <laughs> there's so many to keep track of now that it's almost impossible, dude. Yeah, I'm like, to know I you think I caught it, and then I catch it, like, oh, I did not catch it. Why do I want to say that's a feature in maybe gold and silver, where if you already have the Pokemon, there's like a Pokeball sim- symbol next to their name that says they you should caught it have that. But they don't have it at all in Sword and Shield. I, exactly. Doesn't make any should. sense. Because it's upsetting that I have to like look back, go back, and I spend my time catch. I think I spent almost ten Pokeballs trying to mm-hmm. capture that Pokemon, and it turns out I already, you already had, had it. it. Yeah. 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 I was like, I wasted so much time trying to capture that Pokemon. Either that, or so. let you look at your Pokedex during the battle to see if you have it already. You know. Oh, that should be a feature too. That'd like, be kind of cool. You know, you enter a battle. And then you, you see your character bust out a Pokedex, and then mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. this Pokemon is known to do this. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, so then that's an indicator, something like that. Damn. Like a real Pokemon we're trainer. Giving, I, we're giving good ideas away for free, man. Good <laughs> ideas away for free. Um, so they also announced some mobile games, actually. Uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix 
which is like a puzzle game. It's like a, I guess it's like Candy Crush or something like that, man. Mm-hmm. Comes out on Tuesday. Um, I know I'm going to download it when I wake up on Tuesday. It's just a game I can play like while on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still time with, dude. Um, and then there's another one called Pokemon Smile, which is like a AR game that helps kids brush their teeth. Well, not helps them, but makes it interactive so they look forward to brushing their teeth. Um, which I is great. I would like to use that regardless. They should and... do that for other menial stuff too. Like, like dumping the trash and... Yep. Wiping your butt <laughs> properly. And... Oh, that'd be gross though. The, the camera looking at your butt, that'd be... No, that'd be no, 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 no. On a, well, you could have like a Pokemon twerking on a tissue or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a sick idea, dude. <laughs> you know how dogs, like, if something gets stuck in their butt, they walk around, like, and drag and, their butt in the grass and stuff? Yeah. Dude. Like, they're squatting forever, but they keep walking. What if we invented a rail where you put a toilet paper or some kind of toilet clean or some kind of paper cleaning substance on there like a conveyor belt and you just sit there and just ride your shit <laughs> along that belt <laughs> you're good to go dude like an automatic car wash for your butt dude what if like someone like i don't know like glued a rock on the <laughs> bottom <laughs> Why are you trying to sabotage already, man? See, this is why we can't have nice things. No, no, I'm just trying to future-proof it, you know? Like, it has to be, like, resistant to glue or something. Oh, I swear. I swear we're adults. I swear we're adults. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, I think that would be cool. What if Pokemon single-handedly kills all cavities for all the future generations? Oh, damn, yeah. That would be wild if they just see a decrease in cavities in in uh younger generations because this game came out that would be an accomplishment man and that's something that pokemon would be able to pull off i believe yep i think we need to invest in toothbrush stocks and (laughs) (laughs) just gonna see a huge we are adults dude thinking ahead man that's crazy i didn't even think about that um but yeah so that looks good and then the biggest news i think pokemon snap is coming back dude yes yes i'm super excited i just saw that in my tweet Mm -hmm. uh like later in the day uh i saw some of our friends already posted way beforehand but i didn't see that Mm -hmm. um but it just caught me off guard you know it's like damn dude what kind of game is this and then you like bust out the camera and he's taking a picture of a blast toys eating an apple i was like Mm -hmm. (gasps) it's coming back (laughs) no is this this is gonna be on the switch right this isn't gonna be a mobile game I would think it would be on the Switch because the graphics look pretty detailed from what I've seen. I don't know, man. They got that fucking... Oh, God. What's that game called that has a bunch of commercials on YouTube? Uh, Not AFK Arena, but there's another one uh, that has really good graphics on the phone. Well, maybe. Oh. What if they did do it on the phone? And you literally had to walk like Pokemon Go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like you had to turn the camera to turn in game, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, w- I think I would actually be annoyed at that. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think I want it on Switch and I want to use the joysticks to look around, man. Yeah, I need to explore their world, not our world. <laughs> so I, I don't want that. Question Do you think this is going to be like the original and we could finish it in an hour? Hmm. They might come out with a shit ton of Pokemon. Yeah. Now that you say that. We only like... had a partial of the 151. We mm-hmm. never had the full. And then now we have like a vast array of like almost a thousand Pokemon. So mm. or 800. I forget. Dude, so many memories of wasting all that money at Blockbuster, man. Oh, yeah. We had to re-rent that shit just Dude. so we can replay the whole game because there's like certain pokemon that i couldn't cat uh take a picture of like you had to do something with the apple you had to throw it at their head throw it at what i'm saying too yeah yeah like how did i know because remember they had the little station at blockbuster where you could play it and then print out the stickers yeah how did i know 
to like keep hitting Dratini with these apples to make him turn into Dragonite at the end of the level, dude. You know, it's, that wasn't yeah. something I could Google. It's like we had to go out in the schoolyard and be like, oh, did you try this? Did you see that? It just makes it so crazy to me that we came from such an archaic time and then look where we are today, man. We could look up anything. Like, yep. If I am just wondering who the 26th president was of the United States, I could just look it up right now. You know, if I want to look how to say uh, toilet paper in Nigerian, I could look it up right now, dude. Like, shit is crazy, bro. We, we're old. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> is that yep. an existential crisis real quick? But, yeah, I, I, I hope they throw all 800 Pokemon in there. I hope there's a bunch of secrets where, you know, you have to bounce an apple off of a tree, off of a rock, and land it in the water to get a Gyarados, dude. I just hope there's a bunch of secrets, man. Yeah, and I remember, like, the hard wool pokemon i couldn't capture i think he had to do something but it was the scyther and mm. he was like in the grass mm -hmm. and then you mm -hmm. had to like throw it and then it has to hit him in the grass mm -hmm. uh which was difficult enough because the grass was tall mm -hmm. and then if you do hit it like he like pops up and like a lot yeah and then yeah. you had to take a shot yeah i like those those kind of secrets too, you know. And then Professor Oak would be such an asshole when he's judging your pictures. He was like, "Uh, this isn't really in frame." <laughs> Maybe I you know. Should zoom out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, yeah, I I'm excited. That was big news. They knew what they were doing, coming out with Pokemon Snap, man. Yeah, someone said Pokemon O Snap, and I was like, "Why didn't they <laughs> name it that? That would have been amazing." <laughs> ideas giving away ideas for free, dude. Mm, yep. Ideas for free. Um, so yeah, that was I think one of the huger ones. Um, there was a lot of other smaller good news, at least for us, sprinkled out a bunch of other conferences. Um, there's gonna be a new Kingdom Hearts game coming out. <laughs> nice. It's called Melody of Memory, and it's like. Uh, how you can describe this, dude? It's like elite beat agents. I think it's Ooh. Sora, Goofy, and Donald kind of running on a track. Or no, uh -huh. maybe it is more like Guitar Hero because it's, you know, three characters running on a track and then an enemy will appear in front of them. And then I guess to the beat of the song, you have to press which one is going to attack whatever enemy is in front of them. Um, Talked about this so much. I love it when... Um, an intellectual property takes their game out of its original genre, you know, like the persona games are JRPGs, mm -hmm. right? But yeah. And they have rhythm games. They have like dating games. They have fighting games all in that same persona universe. I think that's fucking tight, dude. So if kingdom hearts is doing this. That's great. All they need to do is come out with a, like a bullet hell gummy ship game. <laughs> it's just a standalone <laughs> thing. I think that would be fucking awesome too, man. That would be pretty cool. And oh, put I'm it in VR. It. Ooh. Oh, oh, you know. that would be sick. That would be sick. Speaking of flying a ship in VR, uh, Star Wars Squadron. Um, yeah. First, it got a trailer earlier in the week that didn't show nothing. Right? It was like a story trailer. Someone was like, "Oh, okay, cool. How do we know what this game looks like? You know, we just know what the story is." And then during the EA event, um, they showed how it's gonna play and. It looks great. I think they show too much of the cockpit. <laughs> like you can only see fifty like fifty percent of your screen is the window. Oh, damn. And then fifty percent of the screen is like the buttons in the cockpit. I'm like, wait, I need to be yeah, able to see what I'm shooting. It's kinda hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um but they did confirm that the game is gonna be in VR. It's fully playable in VR. Um and then it's gonna be compatible with a joystick. So you could act like you're really flying an X-Wing out here, man, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm excited for that. Um, it might give me a reason to buy VR finally, dude. Because they had that dude. one mission in Battlefield, right? Like the X-Wing VR experience. But now this whole game is centered around um, dogfights in space. I'm, I'm totally down. Interestingly, though, <clears throat> this game's only going to be $40. I wonder how they're pulling that off. Yeah, I've noticed that a lot of VR games they priced it around like thirty to forty dollars. They never really charge for a full game. Mm -hmm. It might mm -hmm. be because it's not really a full game. It's mostly, yeah, I guess 
a mini game <laughs> like a vr yeah like like i said experience or something you know just yeah. like the fishing for final fantasy 15 it's not final fantasy 15 it's just the fishing portion of it right yeah exactly oh uh, yeah I, I guess i could see where that makes sense but yeah this might make me get um vr dude flying an x-wing or a tie fighter or a tie interceptor or an a-wing or whatever they have dude i'm yeah. down man give me um, a de- star destroyer <laughs> <laughs> the whole big ass ship <laughs> the thing is too i think there's multiplayer in it so oh we did play that what what game was that we played a multiplayer uh it was at like psx i think we played like a multiplayer vr um spaceship this- game Star Wars Battlefield. No, it was uh was it Eve or something? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Eve. I crashed the game. That's <laughs> oh, that's sucked, right, man. Because they put us in a cockpit and everything, dude. I remember I was I was the one flying around. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, everyone, let's play this game. And then, you know, we're in the middle of the dogfight and I was like getting super into it. I crashed. Everyone else was still playing. I was like, oh Damn, I don't want to play no more. That's fucked up, man. But yeah, yeah, but dude, it was fun down. for what it was when, when I was playing it. Yeah, I'm super down, man. Uh, crazy enough, too, and this is, again, something we love. This game got announced this week, so within the teens of June, and it's coming out October 2nd. So in, like, less than six months, man. Damn. From announcement to release is, like, four months. I'm super stoked for that, man. So, good job nice. on EA one time. They're finally doing... Star Wars right. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This game might actually suck. But <laughs> it's fulfilling a lot of hopes and dreams right now. So I think it's tight. Um, what else happened? Also in the EA thing, they had uh It Takes Two, an announcement from these guys the studio called Haze Light. And it's the guys that made um A Way Out, which Rick and I played through. That was good times, dude. Where you that was fun. You're two people busting out of jail and then somehow end up on an island owned by the cartel and you just shoot everybody up, dude. You know, we play some baseball in there. What else do we do in that game? There's it's, it's just so much random activities that you do together in that game. <laughs> and it's funny because it, like, tests the relationship, especially at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, spoiler mm-hmm. alert. I don't know if anyone's playing, but, yeah, like, at the end we have to, like, we're pitted against each other and mm-hmm. i forget why we're, we're against each other but oh because you find out one is an undercover cop or something oh and his whole goal was to get you to kill that cartel boss at the end i th- think spoiler alert shit after i already talk about it but yeah you do have to fight each other at the end who is the cop was i the cop i think you were the cop yeah you you had the beard right yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think you were the cop. And then I won. <laughs> yeah, and we got the bad ending because of it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a head start in shooting you. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, nah, yeah. I think that game is super unique. And I think it's because you didn't have to buy the game. Like, only I had to buy the game and we could both play together, you know, even though you didn't own the game. So I think yeah. that was super innovative. Just the way the two players can interact. I mean, Rick and I were playing remotely, but we could still see it split screen, so we knew what each other was doing. Um, yeah, I thought that game was great. Um, and if they do it again and have an even better story, learn from their mistakes from the first one, I- I'm there for it, dude. I'm a fan. It's kind of like when um, Heavy Rain first came out. You know, I was such a fan of that. You know way of making decisions and how it affects the story unfortunately the game that came out after that was uh oh shit what's it called the one with ellen page Ellen Page. i'm not gonna remember it yeah the one where you control like her ghost buddy aiden oh man what's like beyond two souls unfortunately the follow-up to heavy rain was beyond two souls that was fucking re- uh it's not that good oh <laughs> You know, it takes two is 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 good as well. It's just as good as a way out, man. Um, the guy who's producing it is crazy, so gotta have trust in some crazy people to make some crazy games. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> uh, not really big for us, but big for a lot of people. Skate Four got announced. I think you and I were more into Tony Hawk, man. Yeah. So, Skate was a little bit afterwards. 
Um, funny because they said, oh, yeah, we're working on Skate 4. Didn't show anything about the game. I think they just started working on the game the day they announced it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't see that for another five years. Um, oh, Baldur's Gate 3. This game looks better looks and better. Fun. Every time they show gameplay of it, I think they had a whole hour's worth of gameplay. Um, and it's basically, yeah, you're playing a tabletop RPG, but in a computer game. And um, it, they have the dice rolls and everything where you could try to intimidate your enemies or try to deceive someone into giving you money or something like that, getting them to unlock a door for you. Um, one of the funnier things from the, the gameplay um, event they had was, I think, one of the characters jumped off of a ledge to a lower area and he fucked up his acrobatics check and he broke both his legs or something. Oh, so damn. He, <laughs> whenever he moved, he had to crawl <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't move as far. I think he died shortly after that. But yeah, man, I, I can't wait to play that multiplayer because they're going to have multiplayer capabilities with that um because you could just improvise and do anything right you can use your magic to shoot boulders or shoot stalactites from the ceiling to fall down and impale your enemies you know you can destroy a bridge that one of your enemies is standing on so that they fall into the river below um there's a chance that you know your character or you can make your character a vampire and every night when you go to sleep you have to roll against the urge to bite your teammates and turn them into vampires you know what i'm saying there's just yeah so many possibilities in this game it, it, it blows my mind and i think we're gonna have we've played a couple you know dungeons and dragons um rounds together and i think it's just gonna get ridiculous for us man <laughs> we do some <laughs> crazy shit in those games you know yep yep so i i can't wait man um there's supposed to be an early access thing in August. The funny part is say they were saying in an official tweet, right, on the official Baldur's Gate Twitter, they were saying, oh, yeah, we're going to come out with our early access in August, maybe, in parentheses. So they're not even sure when this shit's going to come out, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope it is then because that's just basically a month away now. Um, we'll be able to buy an early access and play. I've been needing something more fresh uh, that's multiplayer in my life, and I think this will be it, man. Yep, yep. Um, I just gotta make sure I watch out for Rick before he tries to backstab me, dude. Um, you know what? Never! I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a vampire. I'm gonna be a vampire, and I'm gonna Never! fight everybody. I'll be a <laughs> I'm gonna wear garlic necklaces. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a vampire hunter. <laughs> yeah, is that what happened last time? Like, I was a criminal, and you were a bounty hunter last time? And I was a bounty hunter, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, for the first half of the game, I had to be in disguise and shit. That was funny. Um, What else is going on? Last big thing, I guess, is it's not announced yet officially. There's just been a bunch of leaks, um, and they're sending out promotional material. Um, But Crash Bandicoot 4 is officially happening. After 20-something years almost, dude. <laughs> is it going to be the same platformer where it's like running forward? Maybe. Well, there's different perspectives. Some of the levels in Crash Bandicoot, the first one even, were running left to right. You know? Mm -hmm. So, maybe. I know the main reason they're doing this is because the remaster was so successful. You know? So there's definitely yeah. an audience for it. Plus... The nostalgia effect everybody remembers playing these back in the day so why not make a new one just ride the momentum on the success of the, the remakes you know yep which i haven't played yet um it's funny because i have all the originals i think i even have crash team racing man on playstation one um, but I haven't played any of the remasters yet um there's too many games to play man there's a lot and so little time dude like right now, Rick, as said earlier, he's playing uh, Pokemon and mainly, you know, doing raids. So explain this to me. You've done some of the story already for the expansion, right? Yeah. Are your Pokemon just super overpowered since we've been raiding this whole time and you could just use all the candies? Yes. <laughs> uh, I started. <laughs> I am a level 100 
um, because of the candies. And I think they know that too, but they have to start with a base somewhere. <laughs> and the base they started with is level 60. Oh and all my the Pokemon. God. Yeah, all the Pokemon in that whole region is 60. R.I.P. to all those Pokemon and all those trainers, dude. Oh, yeah. They get whooped <laughs> by me. <laughs> That's funny. Um, So I've, oh, of course, throughout the beginning of the week, still playing Final Fantasy XV. Um, damn, I hope I don't fall out of love with that game because I was genuinely... Starting to enjoy my time with that game, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, just uh, continue your adventure. What chapter are you on? I'm still on chapter six, I think. I'm about to meet up with Luna Freya at whatever other island. Um, I just fought the Dragoon Lady. And since I'm Did over... Did you kill her? Yo, I like, instantly. shit out of her. Yeah, dude. I think she did <laughs> one crazy attack where she threw her spear up in the air and did like a pole dance and then tried to land on me yeah like oh yeah square (laughs) (laughs) we just blocked it and parried her and and killed her super quick um and then they had like this final fan final fantasy 14 crossover event uh where you fight well i don't want to spoil it for rick but you fight one of the raid bosses in 15 think it was garuda yeah yeah dude. yeah you fight garuda and then you get garuda as a summon and then you what can... you get her as a summon dude and then you can get she's the one that showed up for me the most dude i think ramu showed up once for me but garuda yeah. bails me out of every fight <laughs> 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 and then um i think i did my little cheese again where i just make a bunch of uh exp bonus fires and just use a bunch of them to kill this monster that gives a lot of xp um, and then I slept at the inn that gives you times two XP when you rest there. So now I'm like level 80. So I'm really just cheesing the game up, man. Um, Which is good because you can enjoy, relax, and you don't have to worry about anything yeah. killing you. Just hold circle all the way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I think, where am I? Yeah, I'm on chapter six. I think I'm near the end of it. I just dropped off uh, Gladio's sister to their new house by that lighthouse. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, dude, I- I'm really enjoying that game. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be off of it for the near future because Last of Us Two came out, man. And no, then, what you need to do is uh, finish uh, power through uh, fifteen. No, dude, I'm so hooked on Last of Us, man. So hooked. darn it, the the graphics look amazing. Um, of course. The story is just as heavy as it was um, in the first one. You know, it's a continuation, or you can see the consequences of what happened in the first one and this one. Mm-hmm. Um, and not spoiling too much, yeah, man, it's so far, I'm maybe about five or six hours in, I'm in this little open area where I'm doing some exploring. Um yeah, no, the, the the game is great, man. And it's funny because their facial expressions are just so real, you know, like in the cutscenes. But not just only in the cutscenes, but when you're out and fighting stuff too. I catch myself when I'm doing a stealth kill on an enemy. I'm rotating the camera so I could see like Ellie's face as she's like struggling to fucking stick this knife in this dude's throat and then pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, they did a lot of good uh, motion capture and and animations with all the faces and stuff in this. It it, it makes it feel so much more real. Um, they added a lot of uh, uncharted platforming to it. Ellie can jump on get through gaps now and swing from ropes and everything. Um, so it's a little bit more action oriented. There's a dodge button now too. Um, so far so good, man. And this one at least I know. I won't really get sidetracked, right? In 15, I'll spend just a night not even doing any side missions, but just driving around, running around on a chocobo, just exploring the map, you know? At least this one's a little bit more contained. There's not too much freedom for me to fuck around for five hours without progressing through the story, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Um... So hopefully, 
I finish this soon, man. Within the next week or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you will if you power through it and then go back to 15. That's true. Because from what I've heard, Last of Us 2 is just a sad... Well, it is a brutal game. Like, you really feel every kill that you make. You know what I mean? Or every person you kill, there's feeling there. You know, I think I uh, <clears throat> planted a mine, this stun mine somewhere. And mm-hmm. this guy was, like, talking to the person he was doing a patrol with. They were talking about, like, something random about, like, oh, did you feed the dogs today or something, right? And then he steps on the mine that I set. And the person he was talking to was like, no, Billy, what's going on, Billy? No. I was like, oh, my God, dude. Oh, names. shit. He had family. <laughs> I know. Dude. He had hopes and dreams. And I'm taking them all away. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think. And 15 is lighthearted so far. Right, so I think it'll be a good relief after playing uh, Last of Us Two. But yeah, that's gonna be my 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 game for the next week or two here. Um, I heard there's a lot of controversy as far as reviews go for that game, but I'm I'm, I'm too scared to look at anything right now. I'm too scared to go on YouTube actually too, because I don't want to see any spoilers, dude. It's gonna be hey. a weird next couple of weeks, man. Yep, you're just gonna have to power through it, and then yeah. then you could be able to see the reviews yeah um so yeah man anything else besides pokemon you're playing Mm, just mainly pokemon um they're getting hard to capture at least oh yeah what happened to the repeat ball man i thought we we thought it was supposed to be repeat as you know even though you have it you use repeat and you have a really high chance of capturing it you yeah. know my streak was at a hundred percent so mm-hmm. anytime i use the repeat ball guaranteed to capture it but the thing is i didn't capture blast toys and even though i had a blast toys i was trying to capture a gigantic version of it i i assumed it was like okay maybe it's because of that but once i did capture the blast toys Mm -hmm, after mm -hmm. i don't know how many tries like almost 20 20 30 i don't even know Mm -hmm. 20 tries um we attempted it again a couple more times after i already had the gigantic form Mm -hmm. and i used the repeat ball again broke out instantly to even look at the pokeball and i was like okay so (laughs) i think what's going on is if it's like a really rare Pokemon, mm-hmm. um, then the repeat doesn't work as mm. good because I think the coloring of the background coloring of the Pokemon mm-hmm. is gold, and normally the raid colors are a certain color, but oh, for some reason, yeah, his background was gold, so I think that might have been you know a factor in it. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, uh, I'll get my switch back soon. Uh, once I get the courage to uh, confront my sister about it, dude. <laughs> Just say, remember She's... that broken screen protector? <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, she's currently playing um, Animal Crossing, and that's the video game that never ends, man. So Just say, you already beat it. You already beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, are you guys still playing Animal Crossing? I remember you guys used to uh, be on that all day dude farming and stuff man but yeah i think once i moved i think i did stop playing for for a good while because you were playing animal crossing in real life dude yeah exactly so (laughs) right now i haven't been on it for maybe a couple weeks um so i should be on it are there any consequences for you ignoring your island like are a bunch of weeds gonna grow um uh bugs gonna take over I think bugs do, or like you start seeing cockroaches in your house if you oh, haven't shit. been. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely your your villager starts to say, "Hey, buddy, I haven't seen you in forever." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Oh shit, uh, uh, yeah." So, yep. Uh, I think I should play a little bit. I don't know. Nah, man. Keep playing Pokemon, Pokemon, dude. Catch me some more Pokemon, bro. Exactly. <laughs> um. But yeah, dude, I think that's it. There's going to be even more events. I think uh, who's having an event? I think there's going to be like an Avengers event in August. So 
we're going to have a lot more video game announcements, releases, news just sprinkled out throughout the rest of the summer, man. Um, but yeah, this is the start of like the, the home stretch for this generation of, of uh, consoles. Because, um, dude, in like two, three weeks, we get Ghost of Tsushima, man. Yes. Shit is happening yes. fast out here, man. Yes, I'm gonna be a samurai. <laughs> samurai. Um, but yeah, I think that is it for us this week. Um, oh, I keep on forgetting, man. I want to bring up. Um, we are on iTunes and Spotify. We're kind of everywhere, man. Uh, we've signed up for this new podcasting service where we can host it somewhere, and it just syndicates our podcast to everywhere. So I'll. I think I'll try to put the links in our YouTube video at least. I know that's where majority of people kind of catch this stuff. Um, so yeah, you can listen to it without having to watch a YouTube video because that's annoying. Yay! Did you know if you pay for YouTube, you can minimize uh, the app and listen to just the audio? Yeah, that's what I was trying to. I was going oh, that through right. that YouTube you, phase. Yeah, and I was like yeah, saying, yeah, right. yeah you can right. lock you your phone, that. you can minimize the app. But you, you, can... you know what's fucked up is that was a just that was an automatic feature originally like, on the long iPhone two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I used to be able to do that all day, and then they abused it. They they put it behind a paywall. Fucking YouTube, man. Yep. Um. So yeah, uh, you can find us anywhere. One of those podcasts where you, you just stream the the audio. Um, so you don't have to keep your phone open all the time. Um, what else do I keep on forgetting, dude? Oh, we have T-shirts. I think Rick and I talked about it briefly on here one time. But we do have T-shirts for sale just because, you know, we have this new service. We kind of got to shell out some money for it. Um, so we thought we'd get some money and just put it back into the podcast. Uh, we have Hot Couch Potato shirts out there. I'll put the link down below, too. Um I bought Rick and I some some sample ones, man. And it's, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of sick, man. It's kind of funny seeing you know your logo that physically, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's one thing to see it on a computer screen every day, but to to see it uh, physically on something and be able to to rep it and wear it is it, it, kind of funny, man. So yeah, you guys can help us out. Um, we definitely enjoy just bullshitting, talking about video games, and you know. Um, sweating after eating spicy food or coming up with new ways to wipe our butts, man. <laughs> um, we greatly appreciate it, dude. Um, but yeah, is there anything else I keep forgetting that we're doing new? Um, I think, I think that's it, man. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of information down below. That's it for us this week. We'll see you guys next week. Rick, some words of wisdom. If you're feeling constipated, never trust a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs>